What's up, Chiefs Kingdom? Coming up on today's show, the practice squad is mostly filled out, so we'll update you guys on that. Plus, Brett Veach talked to the media, so we'll get a couple of quotes there and react. But before we do all that, this is a perfect time to subscribe to the channel because football is back, news is dropping daily, and we've got you covered here on the Kansas City Chiefs Report. So hit that big red button and subscribe. Let's get to 32,000 subscribers ASAP. We're less than 700 away. You're watching the Kansas City Chiefs Report. I'm your host, Harrison Graham. And on today's show, we got a giveaway opportunity from Ultra Game. Look at this shirt I'm repping, this sweet Chiefs t-shirt. You want it for free and your size delivered straight to you? Stick with us later on in the show. We'll have details on how you can enter a giveaway and possibly win this t-shirt for free. We'll also show you guys how you guys could buy the shirt if you don't end up winning the giveaway. That's coming up here in just a few minutes. But... Let's break down the Chiefs practice squad first. Welcome into the show. I am Harrison Graham. The waiver wire came and went. The Chiefs did not claim any players off of waivers, but they have re-signed, or I should say signed, because a couple external players have come in to the practice squad. 14 players in total. One of those players could be on the 53 soon. We'll explain that as well. Here are the members of the practice squad so far. Zane Anderson, special teams ace. Mike Caliendo, the offensive lineman. Jack Cochran, the linebacker. We got Jerrion Ely there, the running back. Darius Fountain, who I thought should have made the 53 but did not. Fellow wide receiver Cornell Powell as well. Tight end Jordan Franks. Safety Nazi Johnson, who was the seventh-round pick this year. Uh, defensive end Azur Kamara. And then linebacker Elijah Lee. More on him in a bit. Uh, quarterback Chris Olotikon, who uh, was a UDFA out of South Dakota. I believe he was with the Steelers during the preseason the Chiefs have picked him up. Center Austin Ryder uh, and a couple of defensive tackles uh, with a lot of experience and Danny Shelton and Taylor Stallworth. Two open spots, 16-man practice squad this year. Chiefs have filled out 14 up to this point. Who is your favorite player on the Chiefs practice squad right now? Now, is it Danny Shelton? Is it Darius Fountain? I'll say this. I think the Chiefs have some pretty good players here. Let me know. Favorite player on the practice squad. I like this practice squad. There's a lot of players here that I think could contribute for some teams, including this one uh, on a 53-man roster. So we'll see if some of these guys get a chance to get called up at some point. But I do think this uh, is a quality group on the practice squad. Danny Shelton. Uh, Taylor Stallworth, Therese Fountain. These are real players. These are guys that could help this football team this year. Now, Blake Bell, according to reports, is still expected to go to IR. That has not been finalized. More on that a little bit later as well. If that does happen, Elijah Lee will return to the 53-man roster, who he was getting starting reps at Sam Linebacker during camp. So I think that's still uh, a very high up. Uh, probability that he will be on the 53 as we kind of look for a second time here at the practice squad. You see Elijah Lee there uh, as a player that's on the practice squad for now, but as a vet, pretty good chance he'll get called back up to the active roster. I do wonder, does a Danny Shelton, a Taylor Stallworth, do they get uh, one of those guys get called up as a defensive tackle? We'll have to wait and see. Uh, I thought both guys uh, showed some good things during the preseason. Obviously, Austin Ryder there, kind of your true backup center. They'll keep him on the practice squad for now. All right, we've got a giveaway opportunity here from Ultra Game, and that opportunity is here. I told you guys, if you want to get this free t-shirt, all you got to do, follow these steps. The pinned comment on today's show is shout out your favorite player. So you got to reply to it. Don't do a separate comment. You got to reply to the pinned comment. Shout out your favorite Chiefs player. It can be current, can be all-time, doesn't matter if you reply to the pinned comment, you are entered into the drawing. So reply right there. Who is your favorite football player on the Kansas City Chiefs? Reply and you will be a part of the giveaway to get this free shirt. Now, if you don't win the giveaway, which we will announce very, very soon in the next day or two, so be on the lookout for that. Um, you can also just go and buy this shirt, or even if you do win it, you can go buy some other ones for family members, whatever. Ultra Game, they have NFL licensed gear. This is dry fit dry fit authentic NFL gear chief shirt with the logo chatsports.com uh, slash KC shirt and you can also get more NFL gear chatsports.com slash ultra game if uh, you like other teams or whatever or if you want other Chiefs gear they have a bunch of other Chiefs gear as well so if you want this t-shirt chatsports.com slash KC shirt chatsports.com slash ultra game for more NFL gear and if you want to enter the drawing reply to the pinned comment with your favorite Chiefs player 
All right, so that is the practice squad for now. Probably a couple more additions to come uh, between now and week one. Brett Veach talked to the media just a little bit ago following all of the maneuvers over the past day, day and a half uh, with yesterday's roster cuts and, of course, today uh, with the waiver wire passing and the practice squad moves. Brett Veach did talk about keeping three quarterbacks with Shane Bouchelle making the team. He said... There's great chemistry with all three of those guys. Shane Bouchelle was one of those guys we felt played well and earned a spot. And I agree with him. Listen, um, I know they like Chad Henney. I know the Chiefs value Chad Henney as the backup. Obviously, Patrick Mahomes isn't going anywhere. But I've said ever since the Chiefs picked up Shane Bouchelle as a UDFA quarterback last year that he has upside to be a long-term backup. And I think the Chiefs see that. They've seen progress, and they're saying, you know what, even if it's going to uh, occupy a roster spot, we're going to keep Shane Bouchelle on the 53, continue to develop this kid, and maybe as soon as next year he's your backup quarterback, your true backup behind Mahomes, because Chad Henney's 36-37 now. He's not going to play forever, um, and, you know, Moving forward, Bouchelle has a chance to be that QB2 for this football team. So I'm optimistic about him. I like that they're keeping him in the fold because, quite frankly, if they put him on waivers, I think there's a real chance he would have gotten scooped up. Do you believe in Shane Bouchelle as the long-term QB2? Even if you don't right now, do you think he can become that? Type Y for yes, type in for no. I think he can. I think he will. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments section. Pete Sweeney tweeted this out more from Brett Veach, said the team will be figuring out the Blake Bell uh, situation with his hip surgery in terms of IR and the logistics of that. If they're going to play some IR, that's going to take place over the next couple days. They are optimistic that he will be back at some point this season. That's obviously great news. I don't think they would have carried him through the initial 53 if they didn't feel like there was a at least decent chance that he would return at some point. I do expect him to go to injured reserve, and if he does, remember what we said earlier, sounds like Elijah Lee, uh, the linebacker, would be the player that uh, returns to the 53 because right now, technically, the Chiefs only have four linebackers on the roster, Willie Gay Jr., uh, Nick Bolton, a couple other guys. So if Bell goes to IR, then you would drop the three tight ends, which I think is perfectly fine. Travis Kelsey, Jody Fortson, and Noah Gray. Uh, Bell, I've got him as tight end four just because he's injured right now. But uh, we will see. I think he will go to IR, but it does sound like uh, uh, a high probability that at some point in this season he will be able to return and play for the Chiefs. Now, Brett Veach also talked about the rookie draft class because 10 of 11 players made this team. He said the thing that surprises me the most with this group is how quickly they've been able to catch up to the speed. It's surprising to have such a big class to have the majority, if not all of them, show that they are ready. Now, Nazi Johnson was the lone rookie to get cut. Uh, the seventh round pick, but even he's back on the practice squad. So the Chiefs like him as well. Um, the other 10 players made it. You know, notable players like Trent McDuffie, George Karloftis, Sky Moore, Brian Cook, Leo Chanel, uh, and others, Josh Williams, Jalen Watson, a lot of these guys, Darian Kennard, they all made the team. Nazi Johnson, the lone guy to get cut, and quite frankly, I think he was close to the bubble. I think he almost made it as well. So now you've got this healthy blend of vets with – Mahomes, Kelsey, Chris Jones, Frank Clark, guys who have been here. And then these young guys, these second-year players, Nick Bolton, third-year Willie Gay, and all these rookies that are going to contribute as well. I think it's an exciting blend of talent on this roster that is obviously trying to win right now and trying to go chase Super Bowls for the next several seasons. All right, that's it for today's Chiefs news. The practice squad has 14 out of 16 spots filled up. Injury update on Blake Bell and then some Brett Feach thoughts. If you made it to the end of the show, it's roll call time. Type real one in the comments. Comments, and we'll see you soon here on the Chiefs Report.